welcome back. So today we are doing a winner's haul or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, whatever you want to call it. Here in Canada, it's either called Marshalls or winners, but they're all the same thing. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I found some amazing things at winners this go around. So if you want to see what I got, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and leave me a comment and hit that little bell. And if you wanna see what I got, just keep watching. I got a really big bag. There's so many things in here. All brands and all high-end brands of gorgeous makeup. So let's dig in. Okay, so. First thing is skincare. This is the Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science Pro Strengthening Solutions. It has the Microderm Abrasion, the um, Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Cream, the Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt uh, Time Defying Cream, Needles No More 3D Filler Mask, and Needles No More Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. And this is the item that's full size. Let's see. So, first off, this is the Needles No More Wrinkle Relaxer. So it's just a little, I'm gonna make it look all clinical in these little packages. A smaller size of that. This is the teeniest, tiniest um, what is this? Tide Triple Peptide Eye Cream. So it's just a teeny tiny little eye cream. But we'll give it a go. And then there, it comes with this uh, Microdermabrasion Age Defiling no, not defiling. <laughs> Defying exfoliator. So it's just this size here, about the size of my hand. Comes with this cute little brush, which is super soft. Of course, it has like the plastic on it that I can't even get off. Anyway, just a brush. And then the, like, one. Oh no, there's another item in here. There's two items in here. This one, wrapped in black paper. This is the Time Defying Cream. What is this? Is this A? AM and PM. Just a little cream. This is the eye cream. It's just so you can see in comparison. And then there's one last item. And this is that one full size item that you get. This is the filler mask. So you get a full size filler mask. Oh, this one's different. It says that you brush it applying from your chin moving upwards. You gently pat more uh, product into lines, wrinkles, use daily. Huh, interesting. And there's, there was, oh, a little instructional manual for all of this stuff. So, we'll give that a shot. Oh, and that was on clearance, and it was $16. Next clearance item is a MAC item and I got it for $9. Retails for $55 and up it says. This is the Make It Perfect brush kit. So here's the package. There's the price and it looks like this. I could care less about the bag. I wanted the brushes so there is this little brush. And they're all stipple brushes, I think. Be good for a highlighter. 
I'm obsessed with brushes. This bigger brush, this would be good for like bronzer or powder. I like the um, handles, they're cute. And then the last two are this blending brush, which comes with this weird cap. Not sure what this cap was for. I guess to hold the brush, but so it's a great like detail blending brush. And then this flat brush, which is actually quite big. So yeah, got those four brushes for nine dollars. Mac brushes for nine dollars. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I picked up this on, this isn't all in one go either. This is the Per Sun Kissed Glow Strobe Slash Highlighting Palette for $14.99. So, I like the package. It caught my eye. It wasn't on clearance. Kind of has the similar look minus the gradient effect to the Kevin Aquan products and there they are so let's see this is Aurora solar and dusk all right let's just swatch them there they are there You can definitely see them. They're very mild, but that's okay. That's okay. We won't hate on them for that, but they're pretty. Probably won't use Dusk too much, but the other ones look like they'll be fun to play with. Next product is a Glam Glow product. I found tons of Glam Glow stuff there and MAC stuff and Sigma stuff, but I didn't buy any Sigma stuff because they still wanted a pretty penny for that stuff. This is the Hollywood California Glam Glow Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment in Love Scene. So it's this cute little box, pink box. And it's just a little bowl. I haven't used it yet, but it smells minty. And this is a color. I really like it. So there's that, and it was $9.99. Okay, I got a balm product. This is a scuba water resistant black mascara. This was $7.99. Looks like this. I have tried. Have I tried it? I don't know if I've tried it actually. Did I try it? No. I didn't try it. Here's the packaging. I love their packaging. So I got that. I thought that was a pretty good deal. $7.99. It says compared to $16 and up. So there's a lot. Another mascara that I got was the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara Longwear Formula in black. And this was $8.99. So it's just like <laughs> a sample size almost. But the thing is like the brush is so teeny tiny, like, get every single little baby lash. I should have put on falsies today, but I didn't. Anyway, bought that one, and that was $8.99. Not sure if I told you. Another Glam Glow product is the Glam Glow Volsmatic Matte Moisture Glow, or Matte Glow Moisturizer. It, ha it says it's a matte glow, intense moisture, lightweight, nourishing, smoothing, and supple. Ooh, look at that. Hollow. Timer. And it was $39.99 compared to $64, which I think, I think that's about right. I have to open it from the bottom because I'm too scared to bust my nail off <laughs> opening it from the top but here's the package and it's a very like thick can you see how thick 
that product is. Oh, it smells so good though. So good. Anyway, I'm gonna give that a go. Maybe I'll try it out tomorrow. Put it with my other Glam Glow products. Put them all in one little drawer. Another product I got, but I'm not sure whether, I don't have the box anymore and I'm not sure whether I've shown you this yet. It's the Paracomb MD Photo Plasma Broad Spectrum of 30. It's like a moisturizer primer mix. I don't remember if I showed you in my last winner's haul, so just thought I'd show you again. My last Glam Glow item was $14.99, and this is the Screen Kiss, again, Glam Glow Plump Rageous Gloss Lip Plumper Treatment. Now this is really unique on how it opens. Looks like a normal one, like you should be able to open it like that, but you have to actually turn it. The wand comes up from the cap, and then it comes out, and it's just like... A nudie color all right the thing is with this is that it stings so bad I put it on earlier today and it stung so bad so it works if that means anything last few items I actually picked up today first one is these are all just Sado and one Mac. So this is the Sheer Mattifying Compact Refill. I wish I would have saw that before I picked it up. And this was $8.99. Did I tell you how much a Glam Glow one was? Yeah, I did. But it was $8.99 and it is in natural fair beige. So it'll it should fit in the summer months. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll show you what it looks like. It is like a refill pack so I don't know we'll see what we do with that the next Shiseido item is the natural finish cream contour long lasting in light medium so, and it was $7.99 and it says comparable to $16 and up so it's just a tube of concealer I will give you a little swatch <clears throat> and it, I think, matches really well, as you can see. I think it works well. I'm just going to take, whoop, take that off my skin. And the last Shiseido product was $9.99. This is a sheer and perfect foundation, even tones, fresh and skin, oil-free. This was a natural light ochre. I like the red and black and the um, actual bottle of foundation is really cute how much is in here though? one fluid ounce there's one fluid ounce in this tiny little thing and again I'll give you like a small swatch it works it's quite like liquidy We'll see how that works out for me. But there's the color. And it like blends out really nicely. And I think it has like a really nice finish. See it just evens everything out. It's not concealing everything but it's evening everything out. I really like it. Not all over my finger, but I really like it. Um, and our last item, I was really excited to find. Let's see if I can get any of this off me. Is a MAC item. This is the MAC 222 brush. So it's just a teeny tiny little blending brush, which is perfect for my teeny tiny hooded eyeballs. <laughs> so there it is there. Mac 222. Perfect little blend, blending, blending brush. Look at how nice and white it is right now. So nice and clean. Can't wait to dirty that up. 
Yes. Anyway, that's everything I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!